Hello there. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to get started on Flutter Desktop. If you're new to this channel, then please consider subscribing and I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to first run the app and show you how it actually looks. So I'm going to write Flutter Run, just like we usually do, and it processes for some time. And there we go. At the end, we have a screen with the default code. It does work like a native application. And even though Flutter enables you to create beautiful and dynamic applications on desktop, you can't challenge a Java or C# developer just yet. Flutter Desktop needs to evolve a lot before getting adopted by the desktop software industry since it misses various system related functionalities. Cross-platform frameworks such as Electron had to wait for a long time before companies actually used it to build system applications like Discord, Slack, VS Code and many more. But one thing's for sure that if it happens and when it happens we are going to be there with all our tools so there are four different steps that we will follow first switch to master channel second enable flutter desktop third clone a runner project and fourth upgrade packages for flutter to run on desktop we must be on master channel with the latest release so just execute the following commands flutter channel master in order to shift to master channel and run flutter upgrade to upgrade flutter to the latest version we need to tell flutter that our current machine is the device that it has to run on for that just write flutter config dash dash enable windows desktop if you're on mac then just write flutter config enable mac os desktop and the same thing goes for linux as well you could also enable flutter desktop on mac os or linux by writing export enable flutter desktop equal true whereas on windows for powershell you could write this and on command prompt you could write set enable flutter desktop equal true great now let's see what difference has it made i will execute flutter devices once again and now it recognizes the current machine as a device so that was the second step moving on to the third step we now need to clone a runner application since flutter create is not yet supported by flutter desktop so i'll write git clone and paste this url you can easily find this in the description below Now that the repository is cloned, I'm going to navigate to the example folder and run flutter packages get. And this updates all the necessary packages which are required to run flutter on desktop. All right, it's done at least for now. Earlier when I did all these steps and ran flutter run, this error popped up. The error message said that it is unable to find suitable visual studio tool chain. So I ran flutter doctor and you can see that at this step Visual Studio developed for Windows there's a cross which means that we need to download Visual Studio in order to develop for Windows Flutter needs some native development environment to build your app for desktop in case of Windows those tools are provided by Visual Studio so head over to Google and search for Visual Studio installer and this shall take you to this page and you can just click on this download button I downloaded Visual Studio 2019 but the version of Windows 10 that I'm using was too old for it So I downloaded Visual Studio 2017 by going over to System Requirements and selecting Visual Studio 2017 Current Release Notes. Also, if you're confused between these versions, you could just download Community version as it's free and perfect for an individual. And after clicking on the download button, it shall start downloading an .exe file. So after you install the downloaded .exe file, it'll show you this installer. In my case, I've installed Visual Studio Enterprise. If you have never installed any software from this installer, you would need to select several workloads. Let me just show them to you. So all you need is this desktop development with C++ workload. So select it and it also selects a number of optional packages. Just unselect all of them except VC++ 2017 and Windows 10 SDK. You could select any one of these options to download and install the packages on your machine. After successful installation, I'll check for any errors. using flutter doctor and the doctor says that we are fine now i just want to ensure that we download desktop specific build tools although flutter downloads the same when we first run our app but we just want it done beforehand so i'll simply write flutter pre cache windows for linux use the linux flag and for mac os use mac os flag now you are finally ready to execute flutter run when you run it for the very first time it takes a little longer And there we go. We have finally created our very first Flutter desktop application. So remember, every time you wish to run Flutter on desktop, 
you would have to set Flutter Desktop to true using any one of the methods I showed you earlier, so that Flutter recognizes your machine as a device that can run a Flutter application. If you take a look at the code, everything seems to be the same, except for this line and the way we have implemented the void main function. We have just imported foundation.dart so that we can set the target platform to Fuchsia. In this way, we are able to run our application on multiple platforms. You could read more about it under Flutter application requirements. Flutter Desktop is a really exciting experiment. And if you head over to this wiki section of Flutter Desktop shells, you could actually read all about the steps that we followed in the video in more detail. And the paragraph starts by stating that work is ongoing to extend Flutter to support desktop. And they are also working on creating a fully integrated solution so that you can just create Flutter desktop application using a simple Flutter create command. Currently, all the platform related APIs are in early stages. Therefore, you could expect them to radically change over time. So maybe in the near future, this video might get obsolete, but I hope that at least for the time being, this video is the best out there and it helps you in one way or the other. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something of value. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe and thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon.